And uh, moving ahead, uh, we have next speaker, Dr. Selva Murthy, sir. Sir, welcome to this uh, uh, Cancer Awareness Program. Sir is a uh, president of uh, MIT Science and Innovation uh, and also Chancellor of MIT University Chhattisgarh. Sir is a renowned uh, scientist. He has, uh, he has devoted around 40 years on naturopathy, including yoga and uh, herbal medicines. Sir was a uh, Director General, DG of DRDO Life Sciences, and now Sir is with us here in MIT. And Sir is an excellent mentor, excellent human being. So with this, I request- Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dhruv. I request you, sir, to share your views and thoughts how naturopathy, how our lifestyle can help us to manage cancer or to help us to prevent from the cancer. So, sir, Thank it's you. over to you. Thank you, sir. Dr. Puneet Guptaji, the Director of Oncology and Clinical Oncology at Metro Hospital, and our distinguished Ms. Kajal Pali, Founder and Director the Peace with Cancer, so first of all, let me welcome on behalf of Founder President Dr. Ashok Chauhan and the Chancellor Dr. Thu Chauhan, both these very distinguished people who are example radiating at how do we bring peace with cancer. And also my salutation to all the, uh, the <clears throat> cancer warriors and also the cancer survivors and who are now setting examples that how, how do we make our life Beautiful. In spite of all these problems, difficulties one would undergo, how do you uh, build a very happy, harmonious life? So, and also my salutation to all the researchers, the NGOs who are rendering human service to take care of uh, the cancer patients, to give them treatment. So all the health workers who are rendering human service to take care of the people who are afflicted with cancer and uh, salutations to you as well. As was rightly mentioned by Dr. B.C. Das in his very extensive presentation that cancer is one of the major killers next to perhaps cardiovascular diseases. Cancer is the most uh, responsible for the death of the people today. So then uh, he also emphasized on the prevention because for a country like ours with 1.4 billion people and if we have to have swast Bharat that we must, uh, we must focus on prevention rather than tertiary care and treatment. So that is where it is very important to look at how do we, uh, how do we prevent cancer and also he emphasized on the early diagnosis, effective treatment and also recovery. These are the four phases in which one has to focus. And also finally, the improving quality of life of these people. That, that is most important is quality of life. Even if they have to survive for six months or one year, how do you keep them happy, peaceful, and also the quality of life increase? So that is where we need to also focus. If somebody has cancer, how do you keep them uh, happy? The other one is uh, my association with uh, cancer has been right from DRDO days. And I did three important uh, uh, modest contributions in this field. One is we developed a cytoscan for detecting the cancer cervix, early cancer cervix, that we developed an automatic scanning of the pap smear, which you take for cancer cervix. It should have pathologists seeing every slide, which is very difficult, cumbersome, thousands of slides he has to see. So can be identified automatically putting the slide, it scans and looks for patterns. Normal cell, vis-a-vis -vis the cancer, cancer cervix cell. So this is where uh, then we have given the patent recognition. So this, this is already in production. It has been transferred, technology has been transferred. The other one is 2-deoxy-D glucose, which is a cancer sensitizer. That is when you are giving radiotherapy to cancer patient, it not only kills the cancer cell, but also kills the normal cell in the vicinity. So how do you sensitize the cancer cell? So this is where 2-deoxy-D glucose, which is an analog of glucose, which will uh, resemble glucose, but it cannot participate in the ATP synthesis and release energy release process. 
So that is where when the cancer cell is hyperactive, it is hungry for energy. It keeps on multiplying, proliferating. So then when you give before cancer radiotherapy to cancer patient, this analog glucose, 2-deoxy-D glucose, the cancer cell will take more of this because it is hungry for energy. It's multiplying at a very fast rate. So having taken this, it will not get the energy. So it's a weaker cell now. So you can optimize the radiation dose in such a way. In that dose, the sensitized weaker cancer cell will be killed while protecting the normal cell in the vicinity. This is 2-DG, 2 2-deoxy-D 2 glucose, which has gone into uh, manufacturing after phase one, phase two, phase three clinical trials. Now it is in the market by Dr. Reddy's laboratory in Hyderabad. They are manufacturing and it is in the market. This was repurposed during COVID situation. Uh, during the corona attack that people used it for uh, the repurposed drug for application for preventing the cancer cell, the, the multiplication of the virus itself, the coronavirus. So this was another second area. Third one is very interesting with regard to the palliative support therapy which cancer patients should receive. This is what is very important. This we worked together from DRDO with Can Bangalore Cancer Research Foundation, Dr. Brinda Sitaram, as well as Kila, Dr. Kilara. So we worked together. That what we did, psychoneuroimmunological access, we were trying to approach for the cancer patient. So we took breast cancer patient who underwent mastectomy. Then they also had radiotherapy, chemotherapy, and a lot of side effects. So they are in high level of stress. So we took them as the subjects. Then we also had spouses who are here and the caregivers. So three population, patients, spouses, and the caregivers as a system. We measured their perceived stress. What is the psychological level of stress of the patients, spouses, caregivers? Then each one adapts their own coping styles. So what type of coping style? This, somebody will avoid, somebody will want the responsibility, somebody will go for meditation, so the, somebody will go for counseling. So we look for, look for the coping strategies adopted by these three populations. Then we looked at the neurological axis through sympathetic activity. What is the stress level? Sympathoadrenal axis we measured, uh, including cortisol, catecholamines. Then we looked at the immune profile that is CD4, CD8, and cell activity, which will indicate the immune profile. So then we did a multivariate analysis, which if there's perceived stress, how does it correlate with the progression of the disease? If we are able to ameliorate the stress, how does the prognosis improves? And also what is the, uh, how the psychotherapy can become a very important part in the treatment which, is, which should be given, psycho-oncology is very important. So this we proved by this uh, study, by a multivariate analysis. And we also looked at which coping strategies lead to better prognosis. So this was a work done when I was in the ER. Now in Amiti, Dr. Das is spearheading this. Cancer biology is a strong cluster. This is the first research cluster which uh, founder president Dr. Ashok Chauhan established. And the first research cluster in Amity Group is the cancer biology cluster, which uh, Dr. Das is the chief coordinator and Dr. Dhruv is the coordinator. So this is doing, uh, Das is the mentor as well for this. So there's a strong R&D in all disciplines, all types of cancer. Amity is carrying out research for setting early diagnosis, and also the therapeutic approaches, normal therapeutic approaches. So early biomarkers we are looking at. And also, can we predict the people who will go into metastasis? Can there be indicators, markers, which will indicate this person will get into metastasis faster? How do we prevent it? Then he is also developing a new drug, triple conjugate, which is a known anti-tumor agent combined with curcumin and also the folate to give the signature of the cancer stem cell. So this is a research which Dr. Das is doing in Amity. So we are also focusing on chemo prevention. Chemo prevention, uh, there's a, a center for chemo preven prevention. Then we are also looking at homeopathy. Dr. Nilanjana, who is sitting there, she is looking at the molecular mechanism of uh, homeopathy drug. How can it be used in cancer? And what is the mechanism 
the mechanistic aspect she is looking at. So the quality of life using meditation, all this we are doing. So we are trying to contribute our little bit of modest contribution from Amity in this area. Now the final message, I will be very brief. The final message is, let us prevent cancer by a good healthy lifestyle. So even if there is a genetic predisposition, how do we delay the expression or prevent the expression of those genes which are responsible? Can, it, can we do that? So let us prevent. Then the biomarkers are very vital. Let us focus on early biomarkers which can spot people early so that their health span as well as the longevity goes up and the quality of life improves. And the awareness creation is important. Cancer is treatable. Many people feel, uh, you know, they, uh, they get dejected, frustrated. Why, why cancer for me? So this is like any other disease. So it is treatable. So we want to create that awareness among the general public. This is very important. So all of us who are here on the screen, as well as who are attending this online, offline, please create this awareness. Cancer is treatable, is preventable and treatable. Finally, let us not mark a person as cancer patient. This is like any other kind of clinical ab uh, abnormal physiology or pathology. So let, this, uh, let us create that kind of social support. Let us not label a person as cancer patient. So like I see uh, the, the person who is sitting there, Kajal Pali, she is a very vibrant, as normal as anybody and as more vibrant than all of us. So she sets an example, Ms. Kajal Pali, and such people, there are many people that showed in uh, his presentation as well. So let us create that social support to the people who are having this problem of cancer. All of us will do it. And my best wishes to Dr. Das, Dr. Dhruv, for taking this initiative to organize this Cancer uh, Survivor Day. And also my compliments to all the participants. But let us take a resolution that we will not just gain, uh, learn something from these deliberations, but let us make a resolution that we will give that support required support to the cancer patients. So with this, my best wishes to every one of you. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts and views how uh, natural